Hi everyone, it's Jen from Jen's Junk Journal Gems. I'm just tinkering around at my craft desk today, working on my signatures, and I thought that I would make uh, a folded, a bifold envelope. Now you can do this with three envelopes, uh, but I'm just going to do the bifold because I only have two of these envelopes left. And I'll just show you what I've done. This is a larger size, but you just have two envelopes. You open the one flap and you put your glue down on the inside flap. Make sure that they're both facing the same way. And then you simply put this on top. Um, then what you want to do is you want to lift it up, make sure that it's even on both ends, and uh, I use uh, Fabri-Tac glue. Um, it's quicker drying than the Eileen's glue that I have. So anyhow, um, that's basically what it's going to look like. Um, so it's just, it's a bifold, and... Then you can attach pictures and stuff, ribbon, anything, any, any ephemera that you have. So I thought I've got some printouts here and these I've got from Etsy from different sources. Uh, the old design shop, um, the house across the bay. I got these ones from, um, I can't remember where I got those ones from, but basically it's it's the same sources. I just do, I go on to Etsy, I do a search um, on the theme, and in this case, because I'm working on a nature journal, I just uh, search nature-themed digital kits um, or nature-themed ephemera, and you'll see the di digital kits come up and you print them off. It's easy peasy. So, having said that, um, I've got one image here um, that I'd like to include. It's this uh, rabbit here. I love it. I was going to use it for a pocket, and then I realized, I mean, how perfect is that? It's, you know, it doesn't cover the whole thing, and that's okay. Um, I'm thinking of putting that one there. Obviously, I won't be able to put this wide of image on the inside because I've got the um, edge of the envelope here. So it's going to have to be a larger, um, either this side or this side. So I'm going to put it here. Might as well just glue it on here while I've got you with me today. It's February and... We just finished a major snowstorm. Um, this winter in central Ontario, Canada has just been brutal. We heat our house with wood and um, it's a full-time job bringing the wood into the house and bringing it downstairs where the wood stove is. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to line it up here and when you're using Fabri-Tec glue um, and most glues in general, you do have a little bit of leeway. If it's not straight, you can kind of shimmy it a little bit. It moves. Um, I've tried double-sided tape. I did that in my last video and um, it's not it's not as forgiving as the glue, that's for sure, because once you lay it down, um, you can't move it. So, anyhow, that's that. Now, this is the back of the envelope, and because I do have the overlap here, I was thinking of, um, you know, putting a little bit of a larger image, or maybe it's, yeah, it's a little bit larger than the... Um, the rabbit here so I think I'm gonna do this one here I'm just gonna cut it out quickly now for the inside I've got some pictures um, that are images that are smaller so we'll get to that in a minute so there's a 
finish cutting this. And I'd like to make this video before my husband gets home from work because otherwise the dogs will go crazy with the barking downstairs. So my video is going to be rather short. Um, all right, I like that. And because uh, I normally do edge around with the Tim Holtz Distressed Ink, uh, Vintage Photo is my go-to, but I have used the Walnut before. It just darkens the edges just a little bit. Um, and it's, I know it's gonna sound almost like a paradox here, but the darkening of the edges actually makes it look softer, less harsh, less like you've just, you know, cut out an image kind of thing. All right, so that will go there. So let's get the glue. Now you can add ribbon, um, washi tape, anything that you have. Um, again, I like to stress, and I've said this before, but it's worth saying again, uh, making junk journals is a hugely personal and creative process. So, um, you know, I'm I'm attaching images that are going for uh, going with my nature theme, and it might not be your cup of tea, but that's okay. Um, you can add whatever images that you have. I'm actually thinking of doing a prayer journal for my, my aunt. Okay, a little bit of glue there. Now with the Fabri-Tac, if it leaks out the side of your image, um, if you don't wipe it up right away, it goes shiny. So you've gotta be really quick with this Fabri-Tac um, stuff. And that's the glue. Um, but if you do get some uh, on top of your image like I just did, um, and you'll know my love-hate affair with glue, um, it just scrapes off. It's, it almost turns into like a gel. That's why I like using it too. All right, so I've got these two spaces here, and um, what I've done before, now let me see if I can, oh, my journal's downstairs and I don't have it handy. But what I have done is I've taken this apart with an X-Acto knife, this side and this side, and basically, you know, um, you know, dismantled the, the envelope. And what I was able to do once this flap, flap was taken um, away, uh, again, with an X-Acto knife there very carefully, I did some stamping um, of, uh, I'll show you got a, a rabbit stamp that I ordered from Newly Bird on Etsy, which I just adore. That's the stamp there. So what I was able to do is just take apart the envelope, fold this down, and then I stamped. And so when I glued it back together, the image, uh, you know, this much of the image was showing um, jumping out of the envelope. It was pretty cool. I'm sorry that I don't have my personal journal. It's downstairs because I was using it yesterday. Anyhow, but that's what you can do. Um, you know, that's another idea for you. Do some stamping. Okay. Um, I've got some images here. Okay, I've got a rabbit, so I don't want another one. And I've got a tree. Uh, I think I might do that nest. Put my glasses up here. I'm gonna do the nest and I think I'm going to do the flower image as well because that's kind of pretty and it's got some you know nice rose color in it. I really love um, you know I shouldn't shop on Etsy so much. Oh my gosh. 
literally it's like a rabbit hole I get lost on Etsy and I you know have all kinds of favorites and save for later in my cart and oh. yeah but I really do like the um, images that you can get multiple tags on one 8 by 11 sheet of paper which is what this is and um, I just keep it all together too for sake of space I don't cut every single image out I just cut it as I use it Just about done here. Okay, so I'm just going to quickly ink these. Actually, what I should do too is uh, ink around the edges of the envelope. So before I glue these down, I think that's what I'm going to do since I've got my ink and my tool out here. And that way, it keeps with the vintage theme. I know that the very first videos that I started watching on YouTube of junk journals, I'm, I'm drawn to nature. I mean, if you've seen my previous videos, you'll know that I live on 10 acres in the bush and uh, I adore nature. So that's part of the reason why, oh, I gotta make sure I'm in camera here. Part of the reason why uh, I, I choose the nature vintage theme. There's another journal that I'd like to try as well. Um, more of a spiritual Buddha kind of junk journal just for quotes and inspirational thoughts and stuff like that. I'm just doing the inside. You'll notice here that the edge of the envelope is uh, it's rough, it's frayed. These actually I've had for like, well I've been married 10 years now and I ended up doing my own wedding invitations. I, I do some calligraphy once in a while and so I bought these envelopes and used them for my wedding invitations and I just kind of had them laying around and that's part of the beauty too of, of junk journals I mean you don't have to go out and and buy um, you know everything that you use you use what you have cut down on costs because I'll tell you, boy oh boy, it can be an expensive hobby, this junk journaling, if you go out and buy everything that you think you need. Okay, I'm just about done here. And I wish that uh, being in Canada, we don't have like a hobby lobby, and I, I see so many members on Facebook groups that I'm in, you know, oh, I got this at Hobby Lobby, or I got this at Joann's. Oh, well, we don't have that here. Um, and nine times out of ten, when I order things from the States, uh, either I can't order them to this address uh, where I am in central Ontario, or um, the shipping is comparable, if not more expensive, than the actual item that I'm buying. So, all right, I'm just going to, oh, I hope the lighting is good. If not, I can redo the video, no problem. Okay, so I've inked around. And I've got the last two images that I'd like to apply. Yeah, that looks good there. And I'll, I think I'll put this one here. I'm keeping the images facing this way because it's natural to open an envelope and I'm going to be including tags in here. It's kind of natural to, to face it that way and that's why I'm, I'm but I mean, that's just me. 
um, you can glue it any old way you'd like, any direction. There's no right and there's no wrong. It's just suggestion. These papers out of the way. Okay. I don't measure. I eyeball. Okay. There's that one. And this one here. I bought some um, vintage uh, tea, tea cards, they're called. And I ordered them from Etsy from a woman in the UK, and I'll show you what they look like in a minute. Um, they used to come in packages of tea. And I want these to be straight, uh, aligned with each other, so I'm just going to... Oh, perfect. Now I may go back. Um, I just wanted to show you, um, you know, the basics of a, a, a bifold um, envelope folder thingy. Um, I may go back and I might draw or I might do a little bit of st stamping. I'm not sure yet. Um, but here, I'll show you the an example here. And Woodland Wildlife, and it's got like the, what it is, this is a, a butt tip moth, buff, not butt, oh my gosh, buff tip moth. <laughs> um, anyhow, it came in quite a large package, and there's all kinds of different images birds and owls and acorns and fawns and they all have they're all numbered and uh, yeah they're kind of neat you know instead of making you know tags you can for example just kind of you know tuck these in now obviously they're not journal cards you can't write on them but they're kind of neat to have I'll just leave those in there for now. And let me see. Oh, I know. I've got this package here. Now, I, I don't think I saved the out, outer package of this, but these are Velcro mini, um, mini stamp, um, not stamps, mini uh, closures. One is, let me get the right ones here. One is fuzzy and the other one is the grip. So that's what I use. I got these from Amazon. So I might as well attach one while I've got the video going. I will add a little bit of glue as well. I mean, they're, they're quite sticky, but I wanna make sure because the opening and closing, you know, repetitively, so I just want to put them together. So I've got the sticky bits on either side here. And I want the fuzzy part down and the other part, yeah, I want the fuzzy part to go down here. Oh, I said I was gonna glue that, didn't I? Having a moment here. So what you do is instead of, you know, trying to guess, um, you know, where the heck they're going to line up by putting them on individually, you just close them together. Like that. Then you close the envelope like that. And I'm just going to press for a few minutes. Now hopefully it dries. I'm not gonna take a heat gun or anything to it. And in fact, what I might do now that it's closed is I might put a little bit of um, wording or something like that there. It looks naked and we can't have nakedness. Let's 
see, this is a scrap. All right. I'm just going to finish tearing this then. This, um, this prose is uh, from the um, Eden, Edith Holden book. One of them that I have. I've got two of her books. And I do have a video, actually, um, with a flip through of each of them on my channel. So if you're interested in knowing, that's still a little bit too big. I'll just take a bit off the top here. See, this is the rabbit hole that, that ends up happening. You know, like you do one thing and then it leads to like five other things. All right. So I'm just going to distress this a bit. Darken the edges. I hope everyone's well. I hope that... Um, I've only been doing this YouTube channel for a month and um, I'm getting some really positive feedback and I really thank you for it and thank you for subscribing. I'm thinking, I think I'm at like 108 or something like that the last time I checked. Um, I think if I get to 150, I might actually do a giveaway of either um, the Newly Bird stamp that I showed earlier in the video here. Or I've got extra um, Tim Holtz uh, script stamp. So yeah, I think that 150 is a nice kind of round number. So um, if I get to 150, that's great. And I'm happy if you guys are happy. So if you guys um, have any suggestions that you want me to do for a video, please let me know. There we go. Now, I'm not going to try and open this just yet because I've just, well, maybe I can try. I, I just don't want it coming off. I want to make sure that... Everything is dry. I really should. I'm impatient, but I just want to show you. Yeah, it's it's lifting a little bit. A little bit. Not a lot. So there you go. You know what? In hindsight, geez, you know, I wonder if I can lift that up. In hindsight, this is okay. Again, live and learn. The clear part should go on the image. I had the white part, the fuzzy part, on the image, and um, that's not good. So I just corrected myself. So hopefully, <sighs> so there you go. There's the front. There's the back. Oh, I'm going to open this. I might have to glue it when I'm off camera. Nope. Actually, it was fine. There's the image. And I've got the clear part on the image and the white fuzzy part up here. I had it reversed before. I'm glad, I'm glad I caught that, actually. And uh, there. There's room for another another tag this one is a little bit too big um, I just downloaded um, these vintage postcard uh, images onto some cardstock and then I just I don't want to include the nest um, and then I just uh, edged around it you know what I think I'm gonna do this one here so there's a journal card and I'll just tuck that right in there. Perfect. All right. 
great. I'm glad you guys uh, joined me today. I hope you're well, and um, I look forward to doing the next video. Uh, I'm working, as I said, on my signatures for my nature journal, so stay tuned for other um, tutorials. Take care, everyone. Bye-bye.